Good evening, everyone. It's Shelley Johns here from Gympie, and we'd like to welcome you to the uh, Monday night team call. So I've got some really exciting good news to share throughout the group. And of course, we've got people all over Australia and overseas as well, which is really exciting. So I think we'll just kick off the call with some good news. So Rosemary, you had some great news to share. Yes. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, look, it's really wonderful. Um, a month ago, uh, my brother phoned um, and said to me, uh, Rose, I'm going to lose my leg. Uh, with getting a call like that, um, I, can, I can't explain how I felt, to be honest. And uh, I, I said, oh my gosh. So anyway, uh, he was in hospital and um, what it was, he had uh, cellulitis of the, um, the leg. Myself being a registered nurse, uh, I've nursed many of those, uh, you know, people with cellulitis. Uh, I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Uh, and the swelling uh, was so severe, it, it actually extended right up to the groin. And um, so that same day, my husband and I uh, travelled down to uh, John Flynn and um, you know, saw the leg, saw how what condition he was in. Uh, me being me and Herbalife, um, you know, I, I'm so passionate about the products that I took a massive amount of products with me. Uh, but the one main one was the Herbalife line, and uh, and Pat well, had been taking Herbalife line, but obviously with the extent of the infection. Um, he was on massive amounts of uh, intravenous uh, IV antibiotics and so I uh, had a bottle of Lifeline as well as all the other different things I got him to swallow right there and then and um, and I said take nine a day okay now this man was going to lose his leg and if you saw it you could understand why um, so it, it, you know, it took nine a day. A month later, he left uh, to go home on Saturday. Uh, he's done nothing less than nine Lifeline a day. Um, the, the surprise of just how his leg was healing was amazing, honestly. Uh, he, I personally thought he may lose his life. I, I knew that he thought he'd lose his leg. I thought more the other way. Uh, so very, very grateful to the fact that he listened as well and um, and he's at home and he's, he's doing really, really well and I am so grateful to have a life, I tell you. In so many ways, um, we know that we don't cure anything but amazingly when you take, um, you know, massive amounts of the nutrition, what it can do uh, for the body. Uh, the other thing... I wanted to mention was uh, started the weight loss challenge last Tuesday evening and had um, 22 new people, 22 people, 25 possibly by tomorrow night. Uh, and the beautiful part of that is, you know how you say you ask for referrals? Um, every challenge that I've had over the number of years now, um, what I would say to everybody was, I need your help. And because even though I put flyers out and, you know, hand flyers to people, um, the best, as far as I'm concerned, is the invitation. And one lady on Tuesday, well, she won the challenge, the last one anyway, but she brought along four people. Uh, and everybody, uh, virtually someone has brought, either the mother has brought the daughter or the daughter has brought the mother. Uh, a mother also brought the son this time. So um, to me, it's a, a fabulous way of, you know, talking about herbal life. I um, educate with the tablet that I've got. I've purchased one and, and I educate um, with that, with the herbal life videos, um, you know, in particular, whatever the, the night might be. Uh, so a wonderful, wonderful lovely, beautiful ladies, uh, and now a gentleman as well. Um, so very exciting because you know then that even one of them, she'd been on Herbalife, gone, left, went away, 
and then came back and then I was able to get it back on Herbalife again. So, you know, uh, to me, uh, it's just exciting. I, I think it's wonderful anyway and I thought I'd love to be able to share it with you. So I hope that's good news. It was for me. Thank you, Rosemary. That is amazing. Yeah. And thank you for the disclaimer too. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> um, but it certainly gives you a renewed appreciation for her life. Because sometimes you get people that, you know, they think it's just like everything else out there. And, um, yeah. and they, you know, they sometimes can't understand when someone's so emotionally attached to the product. Yeah. So that is quite yeah. life-changing, especially when you affect someone's life. So I know... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even like I know Jen how like with your results um yeah. how, you know emotional you feel about the products and that comes across when we talk to people so you know try and find different ways to help people you know it could even just something like simple as a dong quiet could help someone with really bad period pain or um you know balancing the hormones through menopause and, and like I said we can't claim to cure these things but we've got so many results to back it up uh, yeah. they've got nothing to lose by giving it a shot nothing to lose exactly. and everything to gain so yeah thank you and I love that, you know, I need your help. You know, most people are quite happy when you say, I need your help. They're, they're, it's just like when you walk into a shop, people yeah. go, can I help you? It's yeah. the same thing. People are all, always so eager to want to help. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask. And it's a great way of generating referrals and a great way of doubling the uh, participants in your challenge. So Absolutely. I'm sure Lydia's um, already on to that one. Um, so, uh, Lydia, I'd love you to share, um, thank you, Rosemary, very much for um, sharing that. Um, Lydia, I know you've um, like you've just had school holidays and, and I'd just love to hear some things that you've, you've been doing um, as a busy mum and still being able to go out and live your life and some of the things that you've been able to add in um, to your business. I can find you. Where are you, Lydia? Oh, yeah, there you are. You're still muted, my darling. <laughs> Can I unmute you? Okay, Roger, can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> hey. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to the call. Um, so, yeah, just feeling, I guess, um, inspired from last week's call and motivated, I guess you could say. Um, so, in the last seven days, uh, since Monday, since the last call, I've got two pool tabs back in town. Um, and I bloody live by these things at the first 12 months of my business. So I don't know why I stopped using them, but... Yeah, I got those downtown on some fluorescent paper and like we talked about last week, ripped off a couple um, to make it look, a, you know, like people were taking them. Um, and then I made the decision last week to use my three hours, um, and today I should say, two days last week and today, um, instead of going to the gym. So usually I would, you know, allow that time at the gym, one hour. So I thought, well, I'll work up 5,000 steps on my Fitbit, and, uh, which was 50 minutes, um, delivering flyers. So going back to really, I guess you could say, how I built my business eight years ago. Um, so getting out about 70, 80 flyers in that hour um, and having the opportunity to talk to people over the fence as well. Um, and apart from that, I've sort of had a really busy weekend and just being out in the public eye, um, I quite find that people sort of still approach you, oh, you're still doing herbal life, and that sort of gets a few things happening. Um, and why those conversations came up, I guess you could say, is because I've started to um, advertise heavily on Facebook um, for my challenge that starts next Wednesday. Um, and just by doing that, you know, sometimes, like we say, we, you know, we don't actually get the numbers that we want in the challenge. However, it does, it does have a banter effect on, you know, it's a knock effect, I guess you could say. So I've had a lady from Brisbane that lived in Below um, 12 months ago. So I'm reinstating her at the moment with the new process of how Herbalife has helped us greatly to do that easily. Um, so I'm re, um, reinstating her this week. Um, and I've got three new IVP, VIPs in my team. So that's with Erica over in Rockhampton that's going awesome. Um, and she's currently looking after about nine or ten people now. So she's definitely paying for her product um, and getting a lot of referral system happening there. So And great results as well. Um, and hoping that those guys um, can come into the challenge and bring a buddy as well. Um, but yeah, so just sort of, yeah, go, I guess, you know, you could say just going back to what we learnt at the beginning and it didn't fail then, so hopefully it's not going to fail now. So, yeah. And it's interesting, um, I know on the Larry Thompson uh, Millionaire Training Tabs, he always says, you know, if things aren't going right, if you've gone a little bit off track, you just get back to basics. So whatever you did at the beginning is what you should do to then get duplicate those results because sometimes we might change things a little bit or hear something and add that in and all of a sudden we've stopped doing what we did at the very beginning so uh, I think it's a great tip to just do the basics and do what works and um, so I've been adding in some posters and banners around the town and just getting um, 
them in approved places, obviously. Make sure that's approved, guys. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's passing up everywhere. So, and I've just started this 90-day um, plan and, and the calls have started coming. I think we're up to seven leads so far and I'm doing it with uh, three other team members so that I can teach them how to do a recruiting plan uh, and we share the leads together like an advertising lead will, which a lot of people have done in the past. I know, Jan, you would have done things like that. And it's a great way of sharing the, the load, sharing the costs. And um, then we all do the three-way calls together, which is really cool. So um, thank you, Lydia, for sharing uh, your news. And we're go um, uh, we'll be going up to Rocky probably in uh, maybe the first or second week of September. Um, we're happy to do like a mini um, shake party slash Fit Club kind of launch, um, business launch sort of thing as well. So, yeah, if you're a lady who would like to come and join in with us, that would be no problems at all. Yep, okay, September. I'll let you know, yeah, I'll get the date for you. Um, so, yeah, there's a few things going on at the moment. I'm trying to, you know, keep, keep um, yep. I've kind of been spreading out a little bit more and but doing local too all at the same time. So, um, yeah, so there's lots of good news. And I think everything works, you know, flyers work, you know, posters work, pull tabs work, walk and talk works. You know, everything works as long as you're doing it. You know, you've just got to do it and do it consistently and don't be afraid to, to just be yourself and go out there and let people know how, how you feel about it. I, just, I think sometimes I feel like I don't let people know enough, so I'm trying to be a bit more proactive with that. So obviously there's lots and lots of traditional methods with building your business and social media can sometimes be, yeah, especially like I know when I first started the business, we didn't have mobile phones. I think we had a fax machine. <laughs> I don't think I had a computer and the Facebook definitely didn't exist. It was not around. Um, so all of a sudden all this social media comes in and, and if it's not, doesn't come natural to you, like I'd rather pick up the phone and speak to someone or see someone face to face or even email them. But this day and age, there's so many things you can use. And most people are on Facebook. So would I be right in saying that every single person on in this group is on Facebook? I'm just going to flick through, have yeah. a look. Yeah. Okay. So um, I just thought I'd gather, I'd, I've been listening to a few trainings and just trying to get my, my um, knowledge up in this area. So let's just move along. So building your business on Facebook and hopefully you can pick up a few tips on what to do and, and just to kind of um, present yourself better on, on Facebook. Okay, so let's go on with the next slide. Right, so basically it's about creating your profile. Now at the moment, you know, you've got your timeline and your personal profile. Now some people prefer to have a separate business profile to their um, personal profile. They don't mix the two. Um, there's two, two different versions. You either have two separate ones, which I personally would find too difficult to do because I would have to be then managing two profiles and posting you know, content and catching up, I think it would be too much pressure. Um, but some people love that, they prefer it. Uh, and, uh, and other people have where it's combined, which is the way I have it, okay? So it's a personal choice. But you wanna create your profile, you wanna manage that profile, which we're gonna show you how to do. Then you wanna look at posting, how, how much and what to post and you want to create shareable content which means when you post you want people to share it onto their timeline and therefore their friends see it that don't know you and so on and so on okay so the more shareable original content you've got the better um, and this this is just being yourself you know um, documenting your journey and your life on Facebook um, you know in a, in a really positive way um, that way you're going to get more likes and more shares and that enables you to connect to more people that you don't know, okay? So if you have a look on here, um, if you wanna be effective, you wanna have a maximum of three lines of text. So it says that a post that have um, only three lines, get 60% more likes and comments and shares, which means it's not this massive message that people have gotta read. So you'll actually generate more if you've just got a very short amount. And I know that when I look on Facebook, and I'll show you in a minute, when I post, only about five lines show up before you've got to click, and, you know, continue for more information. Okay, so you want to, you want to have the first three lines to have the, the most powerful message in your post, okay? So you want to post around um, at least five times a week. Um, and pick a day that you do that. So everyone knows that I post Monday, Wednesday and Fridays for Fit Club or the day before, so everyone knows it's on. And then you wanna look at when do I post. So here they've got here, but 18 to 24 year olds are on Facebook between nine and 10 p.m. Now that's late for me. I don't really wanna be on Facebook 
posting and catching up with people at that time. I like 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I know most people in my age group, you know, that probably 35 to 50 year olds are probably on Facebook a bit earlier, 7 to 8, or a lot of mums as well. Yeah, they've, they've done dinner, they're getting ready and they've jumped on Facebook. So I like that 7 to 8 p.m. So start doing a bit of research on, on who, who you're looking for, who's your ideal client and, and how can you access them at the best time. So let's just go on to some more stats. I just want to share these with you. So you, you can see here there's lots of different social media platforms. There's Tumblr, Pinterest, Instagram, Google, MySpace, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. So... Facebook actually has 58% of people on social media ha have a Facebook profile. So that's, you know, it's the dominant one. This is where, you know, you want to spend a lot of your time. I'm not saying you can spend all of it and there are other ones. Um, personally, I'm just happy to do this one because I don't think I could get my head around doing all of these. But some people do all of them, you know, and they, they find ways to make it automated where it's already happening and all their, all their posts are scheduled. Uh, and it's saving them time. But I just find it's easier for me to focus on Facebook. And this is why, because it's got, got the widest audience. So just a couple more stats before we move on to the nitty gritty. So there's more than 500, active, uh, 500 million active users on Facebook. And over 50% of them log onto Facebook every single day. And they're spending over 700 billion minutes per month on Facebook. So these people are already on Facebook. They're scrolling. So you need to make sure that you're your posts are there and your content's there for them to see. Okay. So, and 50, so around 55% of Facebook users are aged between 25 and 54, which would be our probably target market when you're looking at, at who you want to target. Now, obviously, we want everybody, but if you're looking at who your ideal client is or your ideal team member, this, this fits in probably in that category of people that are really looking for an opportunity or maybe something to do how to lose weight or improve their health. Okay, I'll just finish with a couple more stats. So when you look at the uh, Facebook demographics, um, so you're looking at uh, the male population. So 66% of all males in the world are on Facebook and 77% of women um, in the world are on Facebook. So that's a, that's a pretty high percentage. So obviously one of our biggest target market's going to be women, as you can see. Um, so 87% of 18 to 29 year olds are on Facebook. 73% um, of 30 to 49 year olds are on Facebook. 63% of 50 to 64 year olds are on Facebook. And 56% of 65 years and up are on Facebook. So it's a pretty high percentage. Then if you're looking at where people live, so in the cities, over 71% of people that live in the cities are on Facebook. In the suburbs, so the outer areas, 72%, and rural, like where we are in the regional areas and uh, country areas, it's 69%. So still quite a high percentage. You know, so these people are on Facebook. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of who you should be targeting. Um, income brackets, so people that earn over $75,000 a year, so there's 72% on Facebook. The $50,000 to $75,000 a year income, 74%. And 30,000 and under, there's 77%. So, again, still quite high. And um, I just want you to see that, yeah, there's people that are on there and they're looking at Facebook to help make the purchases and things like that. So, they, a lot of them are using, um, you know, word of mouth, you know, recommendations and things like that. So, you need to make sure that you're very present on Facebook and they know what you do. Okay. I'll just... Right. So, these are the three pillars of why people go onto Facebook. Number one, they want to be connected. They want to network. Number two, they want to be entertained. A lot of people just scroll through looking for videos and things and quotes and whatever else that is that they enjoy. And other people are looking for content and information. Okay, content to share, which is, I do a lot of that where I'm looking for posts or recipes and things like that. I'm looking for stuff that I can make myself and then take photos of uh, or information. They're going on to find out something. So people love to buy on Facebook, but they don't like to be sold to. And people don't generally join companies, they join people. So if they're looking at you on Facebook, they're joining you because they like you as a person, not necessarily the company you, you work for to begin with, okay? They're going to buy you first because it's an emotional thing. So you really want to build on people that you know 
and then build that like and trust factor. Just like we do when we have to write our list of 20 people we know and first sign up or 100 people, you know, who's the people you like and trust and that trust and like you. It's exactly the same on Facebook because, you know, these people, some of them don't know you for a bar of soap. So you want to build up that rapport and trust with them, okay? It's really important and it's not going to happen instantaneously. It takes time. So let's have a look at your profile. I'm going to show you some pictures in a minute, just in case you're not sure. And of course, we're recording this, so if you need to watch it again, just to run through it, you can. So improving your profile on Facebook. So this is your personal profile and your timeline or a page you've made up um, that you're using to promote yourself. So you're building a trust and like factor. So number one is your profile picture. So let me just flick forward because I can flick back, I'm pretty sure. So this is your profile picture here. So I've just taken a photo of mine. So it should be um, a head and shoulder shot. If this is your storefront, you're showing people who you are. You should be smiling and presentable because you are now a public figure, okay? Your, your profile should be public so that people can see it, okay? Uh, your cover photo. So the cover photo is the one here that sits above, sits above um, at the very top. And um, I haven't changed it yet because I'd only just changed it when I read this and I didn't want to go and change it again. But it should show who you are, what's important to you, include family or, you know, whatever it is that you love, something you're passionate about. And it probably should have you in the photo as well. Of course, I only just put this up, so I didn't want to go ahead and just change it again so quickly. But I will um, update this. It'll probably have some quotes and positivity, but it'll have, you know, a picture of, of um, family and friends and things like that too. Okay, so that is your cover photo there. And, th and so you can edit it, you can click on it and change it. This one here, you can click on and change it as well. Okay, so has everyone got that? Yep. Am I making sense? Yep. Yep. Great. So um, your bio, so your bio is here. So you just here, underneath it's the, the words. So you can go in and click edit. And you wanna come up with some words that, that encapsulate who you are you know keywords that say who you are where you grew up previous jobs and things like that that'll come up here too um, things that people can connect to so I want people to know that we've got Gimpy Lifestyle Central and Gimpy Fit Club uh, I've got a page called Rural Entrepreneurs which is I use for my um, Facebook marketing campaigns with, with the 90 day plan um, yeah I might put that I've done architectural drafting or I'm an artist things that maybe someone will connect to. So obviously, Rosemary, you would put that you're a nurse. Um, you know, anything you feel that um, is an asset. Um, Lynn, you could put that you're a PT. Those sort of things, you know, people can connect with. You want to be, you want to be relatable, okay? So um, I obviously put little love hearts here, which I had to do on my phone. I couldn't type that on the computer. But I just looked for some keywords that said who I was. So I'm a mum. I love being happy. Um, you know, creative, active, I'm grateful for, ev for everything I have in my life. I've loved being healthy and, you know, I'd like to think that I'm an entrepreneur. So, um, and you can put other things. You can put Herbalife Coach or Wellness Coach or whatever you want to put that feels like you that you want to attract, okay? So that's your bio. And then you want to go, this is, this is underneath, but I had to do two photos. Uh, so I've got lives in, I've lived in, um, I live in Gympie in Queensland, but I'm from Mildura in Victoria, which is where I grew up. Okay, so that just might get someone go, oh, I know someone from Victoria, or I used to live there, or, you know, things that people can relate to. It, build, it builds bridges, it builds connections, okay? Builds like and trust. Um, so the next one you want to do is you want to go to your featured photos. So here are your featured photos, and it's got edit featured. So you click on it. So otherwise, it's just going to come up. The photos in there will just come up with whatever they Facebook chooses. If you don't go in and you want to choose photos that show who you are and what's important to you, okay? So I've just selected nine here, which is family, friends, um, yeah, things I enjoy doing. Yeah, it's Fit Club. There's the Lifestyle Centers there. So there's lots of different things. Uh, the girls, of course, and... Um, you know, I want to um, encapsulate my life and lifestyle, okay? So you choose photos that show your lifestyle, shows variety, family, fun, positive and successful, uh, whatever you're trying to portray, okay? So you pick about nine, so they show up like that. Uh, I've obviously added my website here, which I can't quite figure out how I did that, but uh, Gimpy Fit Club, but you could also put your goherbalife.com forward slash whatever your name is. You can do that there as well. So people can click on that and it goes straight to your website. Uh, if you don't want that, then don't put it on there. 
Okay, so just before we move on, did anyone have any questions? Is that clear enough? Good. Well, does everyone feel confident that they could go onto their profile and play around with those things? Yep. Well, if you want, I'll just flick back one slide, just if you want to take um, a screenshot of that or a photo of that, you're more than welcome. Okay, so has everyone got that? Yep. Cool. So that's just a little checklist of how to tidy up your Facebook profile so it's a bit cleaner looking, it's more specific about your promoting who you are, okay? What, 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 who do you represent? And you really want to be authentic. You don't want to be, you want to be yourself. You want to um, live out loud on your Facebook profile to show who you are. Okay, so let's go on to the next slide. Okay, so tips on adding more friends with people you don't know because of because you've got your warm market and you've got your cold market. So your warm market is people you know, and you can definitely get away with being more pitchy. Like they probably know you do Herbalife and you can probably put more Herbalife stuff on there and they're, they're not going to worry about it because they know who you are. But eventually you're going to run out of your warm market. So then it comes down to your, um, your cold market. So these are people you don't know. And you don't want to have continue where you, you're trying to sell things, you know, um, on on your post because it'll turn people off and then they, they won't even want to connect with you. But these red flags go up when they keep seeing that you're trying to sell them. You just want to share, um, share results, share your lifestyle, share, you know, share things that are happening. That's what you want to do. And then you want to work out who is your target audience, your ideal, ideal client or team member. Where do they live? What age are they? What income are they on? What background? You know, have they gone to university? You know, um, do they, you know, do they, are they married? Do they have children? You want to figure out who your target audience is. And bless you, Rosemary. Bless me. <laughs> and you, you want to figure out who, would, who am I marketing to? So I'll give you an example. I've got four demographics that I really love to market to. One, obviously, is mums because I'm a mum and I want to help other mums achieve the same thing that I have. Number two is probably that young sporty guy that's into um, going to the gym. He might work for himself or work full time and he's probably single, um, probably in his 20s, maybe up to mid 30s. Okay. Uh, number three is a business owner, someone that runs a business. They work long hours, they've got a lot of overheads and they're looking for some freedom. You know, they're, they've probably got staff issues and things like that and they're looking for an opportunity to reduce their overheads and give them a bit more flexibility and freedom. And number four is the retiree. Someone that's already retired, they're probably um, having trouble living off their pension and they're looking for some supplement income to help so they can spend more time with the grandkids um, or whatever it might be. So they're my four target markets that I go for when I'm posting on other groups and I'm not necessarily on my timeline, but when I'm posting in other areas, okay? So does that make sense? Cool. So you need to work out who is your target audience and spend some time doing that and go through those questions. And probably a good goal is to add three new friends on Facebook each day. So I get lots of friends requests. And of course, yes, there are some dodgy accounts that make sure you go. I don't just accept everyone. I usually go in and click on their thing. I look to see if there's any mutual friends. I look to see, look, if there's no mutual friends. It's some guy from overseas. I have no idea. It's delete. You know, and if it's if it's inappropriate content, then I'll just you know block it as well. Um, so you just want to be smart about who you're accepting. The, you know, you want you can only have up to five thousand friends on your thing. And I know you might say, well, I've only got a hundred at the moment, or two hundred, or whatever it might be. But you need to be selective because eventually you are going to get to that five thousand friends, and you can't add any more. So therefore, they can still follow you, but they can't be your friends. Um, so be selective on who you add as a friend on Facebook and go through and look at their profile. You know, are, are they positive? Are they into health? You know, are they a nice person? Do they have family? Whatever it is that might relate you to them to be down the track, maybe someone that can direct people to you to help your business build. You might be able to help them. Um, they might become a client or a team member. You need to be looking at that and being very selective on who you add, okay? So don't just confirm every single person. Go and have a look. I've got... I've probably got a couple of hundred sitting in there that I haven't accepted. Uh, but I generally go through deleting the ones I'm not sure about and then I go and have a look. Okay, so have a goal of adding three new friends each day. And if you don't can't do it every day, do, do it once a week. Three people every single week. 
and take, you want to go and check their profile and take the time to build the like and trust factor. Okay, so has everyone got that? Yep. Oh, next. Right, so what motivates your audience? So there's, these are your friends on Facebook that are seeing your, your posts in their newsfeed and things like that. So it's all about gaining pleasure or avoiding pain. Okay, so people are either running away uh, and so, you know, obviously people love gaining pleasure, but running away from pain is actually the stronger emotion. If you listen to Tony Robbins, he talks a lot about this. Um, so, for example, losing weight, preventing a heart attack, not answering to a boss, more time with the grandkids, you know, most people will do more to avoid pain than they will to gain pleasure. So I know you remember that story, um, Jan, with the, the hound dog that's um, sitting on the porch and he's yelping all the time and then someone asks, why is that dog yelping? And the guy goes, oh, oh you know, old, old yeller's just <laughs> sitting on a nail. And he goes, why won't he get up? And he said, well, it probably doesn't hurt enough yet. So some people are just aren't in enough pain to do something about it yet, but you've got to find that, that pain point, okay? So you want to approach three friends through Messenger, look at their profiles and find their pain point. What are they dissatisfied? You know, the Millionaire Training Tapes talks about this. People are dissatisfied with some area of their life and what sort of solution can you offer them? So the step number one is to build rapport. This takes time, be patient. You can't just go and in personal message someone and go, oh, by the way, I do Herbalife, would you be interested? And you don't know them from a bar of soap. And, you know, people don't like that on social media. Best way to probably get blocked in the fastest way <laughs> is to do that. So make sure if there's someone, and I mean, this is genuine, focus on genuine friendship and conversation. If you're going to friend request somebody that you think you have a rapport with and that you could work with or you just like what they're posting, spend some time, you know, getting to know them. Find their pain points, start looking on their profile. Um, you know, can you see that maybe they're working long hours or they're complaining about different things? And then find that solution. Not in the first conversation, but over time, you'll be able to offer a real solution and you want to be real and you want to be genuine. Okay, but that's um, probably the most Im important tip. So, this is just a way of being able to grow your audience that you have of people that are watching your post. So on my, on my timeline, if you go in and look at my friends, um, I generally have lots of people I know that I'm related to, people in Herbalife, I've got my friends and family, people I've worked with, went to school with, all that sort of stuff. But then I've also got friends of their friends. So often I'll go through, especially in Gympie, I'm looking for people that live local that I can add onto my friends list and, and I'll go through and just send them a friends request. I'll probably do three. Um, I don't go nuts. Facebook doesn't like it when you spam and <laughs> send request to 100 people. Don't do that. Just be nice and consistent, nice and steady a few each day. So I'm looking for people in my local area that know people that I know. So I've got that um, you know, trust factor that they know that I know that person they're friends with um, that I can add in to see. Then they can start seeing my posts. Okay. So has everyone got that? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> okay. So next, growing your audience. So you, this is what you want to do. You want to find new eyes to see what you have to offer every day. So this is why you want to add to your friends list, okay? And there's a few different ways of doing it. Um, one is through going and doing friends requests and that the other one is to go and join other groups, okay? So try and have a goal of joining three new groups every single day. Aim for about 20, maybe to 30 and join ones that fit your niche. So that means ones that maybe about healthy, active lifestyle or nutrition or fitness or business or personal development, whatever it might be, join ones that you feel comfortable with. Now you wanna go and check the group rules. You can't, not every single group's gonna let you post. Just like I know here in Gympie, I can't go onto Gympie Buy, Sell and Swap, which is the biggest group and has the biggest um, amount of people on it. I can't go and do Herbalife advertising, I'm not allowed. <laughs> which is a bit of a shame because um, it would be awesome, but I can't do that. So I have to go and find groups in my local area or wherever I want to post that allow me to do that. So go and check the group rules, even message admin if you're not sure and ask them. It's always best to be on side with admins. Don't, you know, don't give in their bad books. They're not going to let you on the group. They'll just kick you off. And no spamming. And spamming means where you're posting over and over again. Um, you know, you might want to bump your post, which means that, each week on the day you're allowed to post, if it's one of their rules, you might just go into the comments section of that post and you just write bump, which I don't like doing. I'd just write something like, hey, you know, we're looking for more people or, 
you know, let's get started today, whatever it might be, I might just put a little comment instead of just putting bump. And I might de delete the old post in that group and then repost. There's lots of different ways of doing it. I hope I'm making sense with this. But remember, you can only have 5,000 friends on your page, so choose wisely and add people that you consider working with. When you get friends requests from other people, so for example, you might have joined a group, you've been engaging in and, and posting, you might have been commenting and liking on things and getting people to know, and all of a sudden you get a friend's request of someone from that group, don't just accept their friends request, go and have a look, okay? Now, do they meet the requirements of someone that you want to have as one of your friends? And then you might personal message them with something like this. Um, Hi, Jen, thank you for your friend's request. What inspired you to reach out to me? And if, if um, Jen didn't, doesn't reply to me in about seven days, I would just delete that request and not respond, okay? Because I'm really, I'm not looking for someone just to, to spam me or whatever. I'm looking for genuine um, connections. So, and does everyone know how to personal message? Like Messenger, do you know what that is? Most people do. Jan, do you know what that is? So with, with Facebook, there's a Messenger, which is like, kind of like emailing, I suppose. It's just connected, you can open it up. I'm pretty sure I've sent you a, a request, Jan, <laughs> Messenger before. <laughs> Um, and it's just the way, you know, here um, on Zoom, when you want to do a, a message so in the chat, have you seen that little bubble that you can put, type something in? Mm, haven't noticed. That's okay. Well, there is actually. Can someone just write a message for a second to the group on the chat and it'll come up? Down the bottom of my screen, it says chat. Yeah, so that. Yeah. And a little bubble comes up with someone's message. So yes. Look. So there's, there's two people have gone in the chat. So now I can see Mervyn's got, hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> and she just put hello. So um, that is the chat. So Messenger is kind of similar to that. It's actually not Facebook, but it's connected to it. It's like a private message. You can private message people. So it's just between you, them and you. So I would send that um, Messenger thing. Hi, Jan. You know, thanks for your friend's request. What inspired you to reach out? Because is a great way of engaging mm -hmm. and then you'll know whether they just want to sell you something or whether they're dodgy or whether they're genuine because that's what you want to find out okay it's a screening process so i hope that makes sense but um, when i see you next gen i'll show you how to do it mm -hmm. okay yep. okay so let's just quickly go on to the last i think it's the last slide let me have a quick look yep it is last slide you can find the arrow it's like a white arrow on a white thing we can't see it. Oh, there we go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so some quick posts for your timeline or groups, uh, the carrot and the stick. Okay. So you really want to dangle that carrot in front of people or you're looking for the stick, which is the pain point of someone that they're satisfied with something. So you might have joined some groups or you might be posting on your timeline. So here's a couple of ways of being able to post where you're, you're asking them, something they're satisfied with so for example if i could show you how to lose five kilos before christmas without having to hit the gym would you be interested if you'd like more information you can pm me or hit me up with some info however you want to word it so it sounds like you so that's a good way if i could show you a way and of course this is very much herbalife lingo for advertising or if you're looking as for a business opportunity if i could show you a way how to or how you to earn extra income without hustling friends and family to do home parties would you be interested or whatever it might be you can word it different pm me for more information so you can do these sort of ads and it might have a nice um might have a nice um positive photo or, or a nice you know a photo of you and your family or something like that um, post in five groups a day and aim for 20 to 30 groups in total i know the person that i listen to this training she's doing like 200 groups uh, but I think this is more than enough for something to do it part-time. So the groups, if you're not quite sure how to find a group, when you go into Facebook, you go up to the top blue tab and I might type in um, Gimpy Business, which I did today, and a whole bunch of groups come up. I click on them. I have to join that group. I can't just post in it. It's usually they're closed groups or they're open, but admin has to approve. So just like um, everyone join Challenge Yourself Daily, because you're on that, aren't you, Jan? Challenge Yourself Daily. Well, so that is a group and that's a secret group, which means only people that are added to it can see it and, and join it. 
Um, but there are closed groups and there's open groups and things like that too. So that's how you find a group. So you type in challenge and some groups with that name would come up and you join them. So you might look for different groups. Um, so um, Lydia might be looking for things in Villa Wheeler. Um, Rosemary can do Brisbane. Lynn can do the Gold Coast, etc. You know, obviously Shinta would be looking at lots of different groups because she's in, you know, got the different contacts in different countries. So, you know, the sky's the limit of where you want to go with that. But just make sure you keep a list of all the groups you've joined. Uh, look, not everyone's going to accept your request to join a group. It's okay. Don't take it personally. Just join the ones you can and then start posting in them. Check the group rules. Make sure admin's okay with it. If you're not sure, just message admin. I can tell you how to find admin as well. Um, but basically, this is what you want to do. At the end of the day, you want to manage your friends' requests, see that they're coming through. You want to engage in different groups. So just like Challenge Yourself Daily, posting in there and sharing is no different than doing that on any other group. And this is how you can generate more friends' requests, questions from people, and people that actually reach out to you. You're not going after them. They're reaching out to you. Okay, by engaging in other groups, I mean genuinely too, like liking posts, maybe making a comment, maybe sharing something. And this is the way that you grow your audience on social media and with Facebook. Okay, probably this suits all platforms, building your audience. So you want to be able to share things and give, give, give value. So for example, I know that Jan's got some excellent tips on how to help people lose weight successfully. So Jan might go and join some different weight loss or nutrition or healthy eating groups and in that you could be posting some tips that you've learned over the years uh, and then people start liking it and then they go oh I might just click on Jan's profile and send her a friend's request because I really like what she's been sharing she's been sharing it for free with no intention of any gain uh, but someone really likes you and that's how you start engaging with them they become a friend they start seeing your posts oh right she does Herbalife great um, I've heard about that I'm going to PM her for some more information so if you're patient and, you, and you're and you prepared to give, give um, something without gain first, give your knowledge, give some tips and information um, out there, you'll find a lot of people then were willing to, to take that step and, and connect with you, okay? So that's basically my Facebook um, training on this section. There will be another one coming after this. Uh, so did you all find it helpful? Yeah, yeah. Very good. So um, if you need to go back and listen to it again, that's what I would recommend. Um, but I'm just trying to show you some ways of how you want to present yourself on Facebook, what you want to share, how you can go out and find other people that you don't know. Uh, and of course, the other thing you could do too is ask friends. If you've got a post, like for example, you post there on my timeline tonight, I shared my before and after photos. I did one of when I was like three years sleep deprived after having <laughs> children. I'm looking really tired. And then one uh, from this year. Um, and then I did my nine kilo new result, okay? And uh, I could actually go in and PM some friends. So for example, say Jan's not a Herbalife um, person, but you're one of my really good friends. I might PM you, hey Jan, how are you going? I was just wondering if you could help me. Would you be able to share my post that I did onto your timeline for me? Because I'm, I'm really wanting to look for some people to help between now and Christmas, get in the best shape of their life and you know how much I love helping people, would you do that for me? So you're either going to say yes or no, uh, or I'll think about it, whatever it is. But if you did that with enough people, some people would share it. Okay, so there's lots of different ways of getting your content out there um, by using social media. So I just wanted to give you some ideas that be creative. You know, on a rainy day, you can't go out and do flyers. Could you sit and do some of this stuff? Absolutely. Is it the only thing you should be doing? No. <laughs> Remember your four methods. Don't just do social media. Do walk and talk. Be branded. Use the products, obviously. Have your car branded. Do flyers. And also do this. Now, don't just do one thing, okay? And um, But it's a great way if you can't get out and about. It's too hot. It's raining, whatever. This is a fantastic way. I know I'm going to be doing a fair bit of driving tomorrow, so I know, well, I'm not driving, I'll be a passenger, but I'm going to definitely be doing some social media stuff while, while we're driving, just so that I can still work while, while I'm in the car. Okay, so just do what you can do. Okay, let's, let's wrap it up with um, what's coming up. So upcoming events and promotions and recognition. So this is the last week of July, so make sure you finish off your month strong. It is the 23rd, so we've got, what, seven, eight more days. I want you to do everything you can. Go back and look at BizWorks if you've got it. 
uh, or go to your upline if you don't have it so they can have a look for you. Check if anyone's close to any different um, promotions or the next level in the marketing plan so you can help them get there and start looking at what people are doing, okay? Who can you help? Who do you know that, you know, really wants to get to whatever it is that's coming up, okay? Supervisor, 35%, 42%. You need to start looking at your biz work, okay? Um, your local events, what have you got going on? If you don't have any, start something. <laughs> start a, a local fit club or, uh, you know, have like opportunity meeting. Do a shake party. I know Herbalife's got this amazing promotion at the moment. If you do a shake party, um, you get a prize. So if you haven't seen that fly out, I know I posted it on Challenge Yourself Daily. Uh, what kickoffs are coming up in the first week of August to help people get off to a great start for the new month? Uh, you've got the World Team Leadership Weekend coming up August 25th and 26th on the Gold Coast. Plus, there I know the Tab Team Training the day before that. Um, the guest speakers, Quentin Revere. Um, and there'll be a whole bunch of other stuff. I know there'll be a new product launch um, and a whole bunch of things coming up. So that's pretty exciting. And congratulations to everyone that's qualified for the Blender and the Member, member Activation Program. Uh, the Herbalife Vacation, I've seen quite a few emails coming out for that, all the people that have qualified for that. That's exciting. The Kickstart promotion, any of those things. Um, congratulations to anyone that's moved up the marketing plan as well. We're really proud of you. And please, if you've got team that have, qualifying for things, um, put it on Challenge Yourself Daily so we can all recognise them and, and um, you know, say congratulations. Um, Jan, did you have anything extra to add with the promotions? No, I think you've covered everything beautifully. No, I think I had too much therma. I'm talking very <laughs> <laughs> You've done a great job tonight. Well, yeah, well, I, you know what? I really, um, I know how daunting social media can be. Yes. <laughs> um, and sometimes you're on there going, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. But, you know, I, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of structure and uh, some focus and just pick a couple of things and just do it and enjoy it. Enjoy showing the world who you are on, on Facebook. That's how mm -hmm. I, could, I could say. And you know what? We all have dramas and negativity that goes on. Don't put it on Facebook. You can yeah. put what you learnt from that. If there's a lesson out of something and you can find a positive, sure, put that. Um, but, you know, that's one thing, as you probably know, that I don't air my, my personal life problems on Facebook, but I'll put my family and I'll put positivity and I'll put what, I'm, what I can do, you know, and I'll always try and focus on the positives. So I think there's something, there's some merit in that, uh, mm -hmm. if you can do that. I think we're just finishing off with a quote. Decide what you want, believe you can have it, believe you deserve it, and believe it's possible for you, Jack Canfield, which I've been doing a fair bit a personal development with this guy with the success principles and it's been really cool so you know just work smarter on yourself than you do on your job guys and and really enjoy what you do get as much joy as you can and be grateful every single day wake up with gratitude and you know what anything is possible and i believe in you so thanks Shelley. <laughs> cool i'm going to finish recording and then we can all have a chitty chat before we finish hang on i can find it <laughs>